Blue Noses, it is the rebirth, the reincarnation of Birmingham City. We are on the up, we're on the rise. Brand new squad, pretty much. Stadium revamps. Let's have it. Come on, you blue boys. I love you, blue noses. Craig Garner's recruitment policy. Okay, great. Well, reason for the call today, John, is something just came across my desk, John. It is perhaps the best thing I've seen in the last six months. If you have 60 seconds, I'd like to share the idea with you. You got a minute? <laughs> Come on, you blue boys. Let's get into it. What's going on Blue Nowsies? It's me again, the boy in blue, back with another video. I hope that you guys are all okay and doing okay. So it is just a few days away from the start of the season. Blues against Reading. It's a sellout. So excited. Dad and Steve are absolutely buzzing about it. You know, it's nice to see the uh, the older generation uh, getting excited as well. Fans coming back who haven't been for years. It is the rebirth of Blues. It is the reincarnation of Blues. We're on the up. It's really exciting stuff. The stadium revamp is looking superb. But before we get into the uh, video, if you could hit the subscribe button and show some support, it is completely free. It'll just notify you guys when I do some more videos. Uh, yes, it is a Birmingham City channel. Uh, obviously, I'm a passionate Blue Nose. Spend a lot of time with my dad. My dad's my best mate. So this is one of the reasons why I do this. But also, you know, just to just show the footballing community how passionate I am about Blues and how much I just love the club and our fans. But yeah, so just hit the subscribe button and it'll just notify you guys when I do some more videos. Uh, also as well, we're on the road to 3K subscribers. Uh, and over the next coming weeks as well, there's going to be some football shirt giveaways as well. So stay tuned for those. All you have to do you hit the subscribe button and then uh, follow the instructions when I put a post on for when the shirts arrive for your chance to win a free brand new football shirt. So stay tuned for that as well. But yeah, we've got some stuff to talk about. So we're going to get into it. So the first one is uh, obviously the first game, Blues and Reading coming up. Now what I like about this is, uh, this is Birmingham City to me, you know. Blue Nows is helping each other out. Uh, Best club in the world, in my opinion. So ticket exchange available uh, for opening day. I really like what Blues are doing here. Uh, so the club are pleased to offer supporters the opportunity to use the ticket exchange service. Following the uh, announcement of a sold at St Andrews, Knighthead Park for the first home game of 24-25 Skybet League 1 against Reading on Saturday the 10th of August. Kick-off 5.30pm. Ticket exchange platform will be available to use uh, the following trials during last season. Um, the ticket exchange is an online resale platform which allows 24, 25 season ticket holders the opportunity to resell their seat for the fixture if they are unable to attend, which is brilliant, you know, because we all know that the support has gone up massively. We've seen Blue Noses coming back who haven't been for years. Now, the excitement's there. Um, Obviously, you know, like a lot of people want to get to these games and unfortunately some people can't can't attend because of the sellout. So the good thing is is if you know we have people that can't go, at least they can pass the ticket on to another blue nose to cheer the boys on in Royal Blue. But yeah, via the new system, seats will continually become available across the stadium where supporters will be able to List up or purchase seats until two hours before kickoff. Once the seat has been sold, the season ticket holder will be credited the match to match value of their season ticket price back into the e ticketing account. This can be used for future home league fixtures or season ticket purchases. Uh, an example an adult season ticket renewal in the tilt and up at is 405 and will be credited back £17.50 for that game. £17.60, sorry. Tickets once purchased are. Strictly non-refundable and non-transferable. Please refer to below the facts uh, to understand how to sell and buy tickets to exchange. So, yeah, brilliant idea that is. You know, it's giving 
Blue knows he's the chance to, you know, um, get to a game uh, if there is a sellout as well. So it's brilliant that Blue knows he's can have the opportunity to help each other out as well. So it's brilliant. Blue Nowsies, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that as well. So get your comments in. Uh, get your comments in about the game coming up. I will do a match preview. Uh, I'll try and do it tonight. I am back at work. So I'm just trying to fit the videos and stuff around work and family and stuff. But yeah. Yeah, so it's just exciting, isn't it? And then we're going to get onto the Blues Facebook page as well because there's something else I want to share with you guys. So yeah, I'm just going to share this screen with you now, Blue Nowsies. This is on the Blues Facebook page. Look over just said and this is uh nick smith well we're into the last week as you've said and um the good news is the hard hats are off and the fetching harvest jackets are are off as well and we are now into the final phases of, of decoration ahead of saturday's start of the season um oh i'm so excited man uh, all of our hospitality in in the cup is finished in this build now we're just into final decorations finishing off kitchens you know putting out um glasses and bottles and, and dressing up all the all the tables um, ready for Saturday. Um, our box to box is finished in terms of its build once again, just having the final kind of beer pours put in. I mean the organization and, and the and planning is just absolutely being put into the you know, astounding. It's just, just um, our shop is um, finishing just, uh, off brilliant, isn't it? We'll finish the fit out of the of the shop and then all the merchandise look at that. we shift to the temporary store into the new store and um, and then we start to take down the temporary store so that'll be going for for saturday's game and the shop will be open on um on friday um ready for saturday which we're super really excited about um and then in the amphitheater in front of the shop for those that have been here um for the last couple of games um, would have seen that into construction and so that's um, probably down to the wire in all honesty um but we're building that at the moment and um, should be ready on friday as well everybody's um, um, very confident that we'll get that finished and you know, it's a, a wonderful environment between the shop and everything that we set out to achieve with the, with connecting the shop back to the stadium having that front facade over the over the cop stand and making it feel part of the club again um it just looks amazing you know when you stand when you stand in the cop and look up you can see the shop and when you're up in the shop and you look back down and um, i think the fans out in front there in that cop and that that whole amphitheater and fan zone are just going to love that, that 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 connection and then over to um over to to the fan park um we uh will in all intents and purposes be finished building and, and, and installing everything for saturday but we just came under um a few challenges when we were um when we built when we were building what we found under the ground which delayed us a couple of weeks so we're just going to miss the first game unfortunately and we will be into um we'll be ready for the second game in the, in the season which will just be it'll be fantastic and it, it'll just be game changing boy it is going to be fantastic well, you touched on the completion of the lounges there, one of which we're stood in now. How pleased are you to see the turnout and the volume of bookings heading into that first game against Reading? We're so delighted, honestly. Um, that's what that's what it's all about. I mean, this is why we do it. We want people, as many Blues fans as possible, to come and experience these these new spaces and to have just a great time and we will. experience when they come and watch, um, you know, the team play, whether it's the men or the women. Um, you know, this is why we do it. You know, for the Blues fans. And the box-to-box -box bar and the fans are well into their final stages, as you mentioned. How pleased are you to see what were once just designed become real life? No, I, I love it, but um, you know, it's really not about what I love. There's a huge amount of people um, that are involved in making these projects uh, happen. You know, we have uh, you know a trusted team that have worked tirelessly to get this to then to the end, which is coming really, really soon. So, you know, I, 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 I really thank them. But it is super cool when you see kind of what our ambition was on a piece of paper and then take it through to deliver the project. But um, more than the design to reality, it's about kind of when you see the people in there and you see the fans loving it, enjoying it, you know, that's the bit that, that I really enjoy. Cool, that looks fantastic. Zooming out of where we are now, what about the Nighthead Performance Center in Epic and the ongoing work at those locations? Well, Epic has calmed down a bit now because the team are into full pre-season. So we really had a focus on getting all of their facilities ready for them for coming back from pre-season. So the focus has shifted across to Wast Hills, um, where we have completed a new artificial pitch. We have um, new change rooms. We have new dining areas, new gym, 
new offices all renovated ready for the the academy and women's teams to come back and then this week actually we are now craning new facilities into into wast hills where we are um where we're upgrading the facilities in our pursuit of a category one academy status so it is it's full steams ahead at the training ground as well um at um at nighthead performance center and we um you know we're closely monitoring and, and, and working through a lot of the activities that are that are happening over at lost hills and of course it's the first time we've spoken since we hosted both rangers and west brom here at st andrews at nighthead park how do you feel about the changes that have been implemented finally being able to be experienced by those supporters well you know it, it was amazing it's just it's always amazing when you get to see the fans coming back and and starting to experience the facilities um uh, you know i i think the teams performed well in those games so you know of course the fans are up and they're excited but just to get them into some of the spaces and back in the ground and give the ground you know um uh, st andrews united park its life back again it's strange being here on the off season when there's oh, a blue now uh, brilliant kind of wandering you know, around and, and the old uh, generation that's what so, you know, means a lot to me I'm a dad's age and older. I'm excited for you as well. Everybody back on Saturday. Brilliant. New spaces, experience all the new environments that we have to offer, um, see the shop, and um, you know, really just have a great time with a great performing team. Nick, thank you for your time. So there you go, Blue Nose. He's fantastic, isn't he? I mean, when I went to the game against West Brom, you know, you're looking around what they've done so far. It's just brilliant. And the time scale, you know, they've been everything they've done. Uh, so far has just been bang on, and you can't you can't fault Nick Smith, you can't fault Knighthead, Tom Wagner. These are by far the best owners that we've ever had. You know, I mean, look how good the stadium looks. Look at the players we've signed so far this season. Look at the manager we've got. You know, uh, the strip, the custom strips, uh, the caterings improved, uh, the excitement round the ground. You know, Blues fans coming back. The older generation, you know, my dad's age and older. Uh, that's one of the best things about doing this YouTube channel is we've got a variety of ages from what like the age of like 13 all the way up to 80. You know, it's brilliant. And this is what it's all about. And I'm really excited for the older generation, you know, my dad's age and older who've been through it, you know, because it is painful being a Blues fan. Uh, my childhood was pretty, you know, I was pretty uh, lucky, really. I caught uh, all Trevor Francis and then Steve Bruce, you know, so I got to see Blues in the Premier League when I was a kid. Um, but, you know, it's our time now and uh, I'm just really excited to get going. But, yeah, Blue Noses, if you like what you see and you love the Blues like I do, then please hit the subscribe button. Uh, you can support this channel further if you want by becoming a member and all that means is it's just like a little uh, monthly subscription. So when we do all the lives, me and Nick... Uh, you get like all the custom badges like keep right on shit on the villa and everything so when we're in the chat you can send these stickers like these little gifts and it comes up on the screen all all custom made as well we have got some shirt giveaways so stay tuned for that as well um over the next coming weeks but yeah blue noses keep right on it's nearly saturday come on you blue boys and i'll catch you guys in the next video up the blues keep right on blue noses love you loads